Connect. I'm the business director of the Latter-day Learning Program, and today we're going to do a quick uh, demonstration. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the Family School Online.org. Uh, we're really excited about having the Family School Online. It's um, it's a service that we feel we can share with more and more families throughout the world. It's more accessible. Uh, it's more affordable. And today I'm going to show you two things. Uh, First, I'm going to show you how to use the Family School if you're one of those families who just wants to take a little bit of the work out of homeschooling and to save yourself a little bit of time. Uh, I'm going to show you how to use our scope and sequence to create lesson plans or to find lesson plans that you can teach to your children. Uh, we also have families who, um, who like to create their own. And, uh, and so if you're one of those families who likes to build curriculum or build uh, teaching opportunities around a schedule, uh, your children's interests, or maybe even around other curriculum that you're using, then I'll also show you how to use the Family School Online for that purpose. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to show you um, how to use our scope and sequence. And the first thing you're going to do in both cases, actually, is to go to this planning tab uh, and click on scope and sequence. And you can see our scope and sequence. The first thing you want to, to, to find out is uh, which year you want to teach. Right now, the Family School Online.org contains over 500 lesson plans, actually, almost 500 lesson plans, and well over 5,000 supporting resources for those lesson plans. And that's only in the first three years. We have all of year one done, we have all of year two done, we have most of year three done. And as soon as we finish year three, we'll start writing year four and five and so on. In three years, we'll have the whole uh, six-year scope and sequence finished. But if you want to see what we're teaching right now in each of those years, you can use the scope and sequence to do that. Okay, once you've decided what you're going to teach, then you need to decide how you're going to teach it, what calendar or what schedule you're going to follow. And you'll notice on this sample schedules tab right here that we've included a couple calendars, a couple ideas. You can teach the family school however you like. You can create your own schedule. But we've created um, a few that it seems families really enjoy following that are helpful for many families. Uh, the unit approach, the weekly approach, and a kind of a combination of the two. Let's go ahead and just look at one. We'll look at the weekly calendar. You can click on this PDF right here and it will take you to um, this PDF of the Family School Year One Weekly Calendar. And So you can see this is Foundations Week as taught uh, just before the first day of school and the first lesson we recommend on this schedule is history and each day of the week we have a different subject that's taught rotating with art and music because they have half the lessons that the other four subjects have so we go histories are Monday is our history day on this schedule uh, Tuesday is our literature day Wednesday is science uh, Thursday is geography and then again Friday we're alternating three lessons of art then three lessons of music once you've decided what you're going to teach or which year you're going to teach and then what calendar you're going to follow, then you just need uh, help finding uh, the lesson plans and the supporting resources, and you can find those here. We have lesson plans and lesson supplements. Lesson plans are kind of the, the foundation. They're the engine of the family school, and that's where everything is um, um, provided. You always start with these foundation lessons each year. There are five foundations lessons where, where, where we really focus on the primary the most important methods that are used in creating a family school lesson plan and that the children will use the notebook method, the timeline method, the his story timeline, I should say, uh, the principal approach, laying the gospel principles at, every, at, at the foundation of every lesson, uh, this idea, this 4 r methodology, research, reason, relate, record, and then uh, word studies and character charts and how to use marking pens. So review those, lay the foundation at the beginning of your school year. You can do that during the summer, uh, well before school starts, or just at the beginning of the school year. And then select the year that you've chosen to teach. In this case, we'll just choose year one, and you can see that all six subjects are listed here, and, and you can follow the calendar, and, and uh, if it says to teach art the first day, art lesson one, then you can drill into art, and you can see a lot of important preface material that would be very helpful to read through and understand before you teach each year. Uh, but then you can see below, we have all the lesson plans. And you see right now that it says start your free trial. Now it's because I'm not logged in. So let's go ahead and get logged in. If you're not a member and you want to have access to the site, you can do it one of two ways. You can click on become a member and you can sign up for a full access free trial or a full access paid account. Uh, and so if you want to try it out for seven days and use it like uh like you would if you had paid for it, then you can do that by clicking on Start Trial here and just filling out this information and signing up. 
uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and log in. And um, oops, looks like, oh yeah, I did get logged in. Great, so let's go back to the home page, the dashboard. And then we'll go to year one again. And to art, and let's go ahead and click on lesson one, assuming that's the first lesson that you're teaching this year. And you can see some of the elements of, of a lesson plan quickly here. I'm not going to show you uh, much more uh, about the lesson. We're going to do another demo of, uh, of a lesson plan. And so if you'd like to, to learn about the parts, uh, the category or the sections of a lesson plan and the various methods that you're going to find used in lesson plans, then, then watch the, um, the uh, lesson plan overview demonstration. Okay, now what if you're a family who wants to create your own scope and sequence? Uh, then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go back to planning. You're going to look at the scope and sequence. And then you're going to find the things that you feel that your children are interested in or that you want to teach or that don't conflict with another curricula that you're using or with another curriculum that you're using. Let's say, for example, you want to, you think that this Egyptian art would be interesting to your, to your kids. And so uh, using the scope and sequence, you can look and see that, okay, Egyptian art is taught, obviously, in art, and it's taught during year one. So let's go back here and then go to lesson plans, year one, art, and we're going to scroll Actually, we're going to look at the table of contents first. By looking at the table of contents, we can actually find the specific lessons that have to do with Egyptian art. So it's lesson 10, 11, and 12. We go back to the list of lessons. Now, knowing that it's lessons 10, 11, and 12, we can click on any of these ancient Egyptian art lessons and open them up, and there we are again. There's one other way to, uh, to use the familyschoolonline.org to create your own custom curriculum. And this goes for both of these groups uh, because it's a really helpful tool that can be used well outside of your daily uh, homeschool lessons for family home eating, for dinner time discussions, for just uh, to create these learning opportunities outside of your, your daily family school time. Uh, you, you could search any anything. I mean, we could we could search honesty if we're teaching a preparing a family home evening for honesty, or we want a lesson on honesty. You can see that we have an object lesson here. We have a video that we're linking to, an activity, um, a Mormon message. This is a lesson plan on dishonesty, Tigger's dishonesty, Winnie the Pooh, and uh, and by clicking on these links, it'll take you to the resources everywhere throughout the entire. Um, resource throughout the entire database of, of resources at the, on the familyschoolonline.org, you can find everything that has anything to do with honesty. And the same thing applies with academic concepts. So you can search any number of academic concepts. The bronze bow, let's say you want to, you're, you're reading the bronze bow with your, with your, your family. Uh, you can just see if we've written or done anything uh, for that piece, and we have. Um, you might search, uh, let's say, latitude. And we can see uh, anything on longitude and latitude. If you want to put together a geography lesson or vertebrates or even a person like uh, Mozart, for example. Uh, again, this is going to pull hundreds and hundreds of resources together or, or it's going to pull from thousands of resources to give you any number of resources to, to create your own lesson plan or to supplement or add to your, um, to your existing lesson plan that you're teaching. Well, we hope this tour was helpful. If you do still have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Uh, you can contact us through the network, uh, through email. Uh, you can call us. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.